Thanksgiving service was to thank God for seeing the Volta River Authority, VRA, through the year 2021. It saw the full participation of management and staff of the VRA amid thanks and praises to the Lord Almighty. Speaking at the service, Chief Executive Officer of the VRA, Emmanuel Inchidakwa noted that innovation and digitization represent the future of the business and that the authority is positioning itself to take advantage of technological advancements to ensure growth. He stated that his outfit would fully embrace technology in its operations in 2022 to compel the VRA to be efficient, competitive and safeguard the future of the state-owned power producer. The changing landscape of power generation has made it necessary for the authority to be digitally and technologically efficient in order to stay competitive. So from next year, we'll we will fully embrace digitalization, which will be the major enabler of our business as we prepare ourselves for the advent of all the things that technology will throw at us, whether it is Internet of Things, whether it's artificial intelligence, etc. But I think one thing we know is that we recognize that digitalization will compel us to be efficient and therefore remain competitive. We also see a future in the smart city concept, which is why we have earmarked Akosumbu for that particular project in order to make the township a technology hub with the introduction of electric buses and other such high-tech initiatives. Our quest to introduce electric, bus, electric buses in Akusumbu is in line with our leadership in the climate change agenda and a reduction of carbon emissions as, per, as they like to say, the Paris Agreement and, the, and COP26, which was recently held in Glasgow. In other words, we believe in the power of an example. Mr. Intridakwa also highlighted some of the social impact activities the authority had embarked on in the face of the negative impacts of COVID-19. COVID-19 may have slowed us down and delayed some of our planned projects. However, it certainly could not stop us from being resilient, and neither could it stop us from carrying out our obligations to our major stakeholders. In particular, we celebrated our 60th anniversary. And I'd like to recall the opportunity to add value to the lives of 16,000 school children from 30 schools in some of our impacted communities who directly benefited from our community support initiative with the use of nothing but drone technology. And aside that, we were able to honor and immortalize the memories of four of our past chief executives with the unveiling of their life-size busts at our operational areas. These were engineer Dr. Emmanuel Lord Corte, our first Ghanaian chief executive, Mr. Erasmus Alexander Komla Kalichi, engineer Dr. Louis Kisley Hayford, and engineer Gilbert Mohini Dochi.